Hello, I'm Gabriel Leggett. I'm a senior engineer in the Energy Strategy Research and Development Department with a focus on energy storage. In this video, I'll help you understand the economics of a battery energy storage system. So with annual savings and kind of the cost of the battery, so we listed this. Now I will point out that lithium ion technology, right, prices keep coming down every year. Uh, and it varies uh, kind of, you know, what publication you read, but we see about 92, 93% of the, of the cost from last year, right? So if a battery costs $10,000, next year it might be 9,200, 9,300. Now eventually that will level off, but prices continue to come down. So what we're using today is if you put in a battery system and it's a two hour system, you can say, all right, I'm assuming based on the kilowatts, it's about $1,200 to $1,500 per kilowatt. Where we get in for our example, 30 kilowatt, 60 kilowatt hour system, it's going to be between $36 to $45,000. So as I was saying, generally today, and I want to point this out, today in SMUDS territory. So if I was living in San Diego, I'm throwing solar and batteries everywhere, right? It makes financial sense. Here in SMUDS territory, you know, fortunately for customers, unfortunately for me, because I want to have a job, uh, is batteries today probably aren't cost effective. You know that for residential. Commercial, on the other hand, if it's a good application, you may actually get a good, you might actually get a payback before the end of life of your battery system. But you can expect to, you know, uh, well, what I would say is go ahead and talk to your SAA. Um, They'll analyze your load profile, and they'll recommend what kind of battery system to put in. That was one of the first projects I worked on when I came here, was to analyze the effectiveness of this battery energy storage system that was installed at a grocery store. And uh, what we were seeing is that it just kind of has that constant load. And then, you know, when they get people kind of coming in, it just kind of gets a little bit of a spike. And we looked, and you were only really getting about 20 to 30% effectiveness of the battery. So when we were talking about that thirty-six, forty, forty-five thousand dollar investment, you know, you're assuming, okay, well, I should be able to get a good amount of that nameplate rating, that thirty kW, get some good savings. And then when we looked at it, we're like, no, you're only getting twenty, thirty percent of what you expected. All right, so that was not a good application there. If they would have talked to the RSAA, Rand James's tool, it would have recommend don't put in a thirty kW system, right? Put in a ten or fifteen. They would have saved half the cost of that battery. And then it might have actually penciled out for them. But really, half the battery wasn't being used, and then so they just paid for it. Now, to reduce costs of the system, there are a couple things. So there's the uh, Federal Investment Tax Credit, the ITC. Uh, if you couple energy storage with a solar system, and you charge the energy storage system 100% from that solar output, you can reduce the cost of that battery system by 30%. Now, I think I have a, there should be an asterisk, right, that says go talk to your uh, tax expert before, <laughs> you know, I make these uh, uh, claims. But that's, you guys can read up on that. Uh, another thing, uh, California offers this, and this would be for the IOU territory, the investor-owned utility territory. It's the State Self-Generation Incentive Program, SGIP. And if you're, in, if you're a gas customer for PG&E, if you put in a battery system, you can go ahead and apply for an incentive to do that. Um, and that can also reduce the cost of your system. So if you can get the ITC credit, you go ahead and look on PG&E's website, look up the SGIP incentive, put in that application. Now you can reduce the cost of that battery. And then when you look at, okay, after you talk to SMUD and see what kind of battery system I need, how much kind of savings I can get, maybe it's starting to make a little bit more sense. So uh, one of the programs I want to point out right now that we just launched about a month ago is our commitment to operate. So we will provide an incentive to you, the customers, uh, if you decide to use uh, at least 51% of your battery to kind of shift load from the peak times to uh, off-peak, right? So that's really using kind of that time-of-use energy arbitrage. And so I have some of the incentives list listed here. So let's say, for example, that 30 kW system, you get a $600 incentive. If you're putting in a big system, you can get up to five grand. And the reason why we're kind of giving this incentive is because, you know, if a customer were to minimize uh, their energy usage during those peak times, that's a benefit for SMUD ourselves, right? It's less strain on our grid, right? Less uh, we have to go out and procure energy during expensive times. So you get a benefit because you're saving money, and we get a benefit because it's less strain on our grid, 
and then we're also saving money. So, you know, it's a win-win situation for everyone. For more information on SMUD's battery energy storage programs, visit smud.org slash storage business.